Hey, just me. This is the uh, last weekend before the Popeye giveaway. And uh, so next weekend, next Saturday night, well, actually, the, the last comment can be put in to win is by midnight of next Saturday. Okay, so the following Sunday is when we'll know who won Popeye. So all you have to do is make a like, be a subscriber, and make a comment. And as many comments as you make is like an entry into the contest. But anyway, today's video is about something I'm working on. Uh, you know, I make the stickers, okay? So I've got an idea. It's for not just stump ground, okay? It's about the channel. The guys that work on cars, the guys that work on homes, the guys that work with their hands. I don't care what you do, lawns, trees, whatever. The blue collar man, plumber. All right, and it's about becoming a blue collar millionaire. So we got a couple of pieces of artwork, and I've been working on a sculpture, and use the sculpture, and maybe take a make a rendering, a drawing off the sculpture that I'm working on. And I've already done a drawing from a long time ago of a girl that was um, a copy of like Rosie the River type thing, and then. Mounting them together, maybe side by side, or whatever, or phasing them into each other to make a sticker. And that way, it's for you know what? You got a daughter or a wife that happens to work something blue collar. I mean, if you win it, it's, or if you want to buy one or whatever, it's to be, I, I give them basically give them away. It's my way of giving back. I want everybody to be successful. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you another side of me I don't really let very many people know. Um, I'll also, you'll see I'll, in the video after I, I'm done talking, I'll roll some pictures of some other stuff I've done. And, um, one of my stuff, I went to a Chicago show, it was a big sculpture. And later on, I didn't win anything. You know, you go to some of these art things or whatever, model, whatever, contests. It's very clickish, right? And it's who you know and if you buy drinks or if you're you know basically you're buying your way in type thing i don't do that you know so i didn't win anything at the, the chicago show years ago but the most rewarding thing to me is when i got back home my work was featured in a magazine called fine scale model or wherever in the back part of it it was featured in it and photograph and all of it and hell, I was proud of it. Even gave my dad a copy of it and stuff. And when I find it, I'll show you guys a copy of it. Anyway, um, let me turn this around so you can. I'll just show you one of my little closet things. All right, there's Popeye, right? So this is what you're going to be entering to win. What I was telling you earlier about. It's a sculpture I've been working on. Oh, God, I've been working on it for about two, three years. But here's what I'm going to sketch of. And um, the blue-collar guy, the blue-collar millionaire. He's basically a biker guy, but I don't know. I kind of like him. Kind of reminds me of me, except for this guy don't have any hair. And he wears earrings, and I don't. Anyway, there's Popeye. Something else people don't know I make. Very very, I make them for special people or whatever. I make books. All right, I don't write books. I make books. I take books and I transfer them over and I make them into pieces of art. Okay. So I make them look old like they're ancient books. And then that's one. I may work on some more and just give it away to you guys. On the next giveaway. That's a vampire hunter to add. And it's a rendering of a sculpture that I did. I, I actually, I didn't make the sculpture. Someone else did. I painted it. All right, I finalized it. And it's called Vampire Hunter. Here's another book made out of metal that I did. And I had a bunch of other ones, and they've been given away. Uh, these are all different awards from different shows I got, you know. The highest I ever got was a, a couple of silvers, mostly third place bronzes, you know, but um, second place. It, it's political, you know, so I don't do it. But what I'm known for doing, really, is not this stuff. I'm known for doing books, but I'm also known for doing something that's out of Europe. 
You don't see it very much in the United States. All right, what I'm known for doing, they're called flats. All right, these are pieces of just engravings, metal engravings that I paint. All right, and what I'm known for is putting them in frames and 3D in them. All right, this one here, yeah, I took a silver, I think, somewhere with this one. Maybe Atlanta or whatever. It's kind of an honor. Um, this one here, did this one, it's 3D leveled back. That was a Templar Knight. Mm, there's some stuff there. This was one of my favorite pieces. I did it for my mother. Uh, and you have to understand how big these things are. They're not big. There's my thumb. I have to wear jeweler's glasses to do these things. I'm known as a miniaturist. Here's another one. Uh, actually, these. There's famous paintings of these, or lithographs, that someone did the engravings, and I painted the engravings. All right, so that's what I'm known for doing. Years ago, I was known for doing these, small sculptures that I painted. Um, but, you know what? Watch my uh, true love, I don't know, it was the books. Uh, that was a, actually a shifter knob that I bought and then modified the pants off of him. And so, um, I'll be glad to give it away. Not so much him yet, but renderings. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make the sticker off of him and maybe I'll, I'll have it blown up. If everybody likes the sticker, the way it comes out, I'll blow it up into a bigger piece the way I me, mean, if you want it in your shop or whatever, you know. Anyway, oh, and here's me from years ago when I was uh, on a terrorism response team. Oh, yeah, a former life. Anyway, enough's enough. Let me turn. I just want to tell you guys thank you very much um, for hanging around with me. And remember the contest for Popeye. All you got to do, hit the like, make a comment. And I'll be a subscriber and enter to win. So not today, Saturdays, the following Saturdays when I'll make the pick, right? Just a short video to say thank you very much. And um, man, we've been working a lot. Some of you guys, I'm sorry. I know it's cold and it's rainy and stuff like that, but work on your equipment. I got to work on Sherman tomorrow morning. It's Sunday to get him ready for Monday because I sprung a little leak. An O-ring somewhere is leaking. And you know what? I was too tired to work on it today. So tomorrow I'll be fresh. I'll hand it. So anyway, once again, thank you very much. God bless you guys. And listen, let me know if you even like that figure there. Uh, you know, the guy with the goatee and stuff. And if you want, if I should use him on the sticker, should I draw him out and put him on the sticker? And let me know. Uh, I got another piece here. Hold on, man. Let me put it up on my computer. Maybe you see it. Hold on. All right. What I wanted to do with the uh, sculpt, the other one, is draw him out. Him facing basically this way. And this is the gal I did, like a Rosie the River type gal that I did a long time ago. And. I'll dress her up or whatever for a sticker or maybe just make them black and white on both sides, you know, or gray and gray. I take out all the color. You guys, let me know, please. I need your help. Okay, I'd like to know what you guys like. Oh, and that piece from the Chicago that I told you that, you know, I didn't win Jack, but then I got mentioned in the magazine. Bam. That's in here. That's my most prized possession. It's called Vampire Hunter. It's actually, he's made out of vinyl, and it, it was a sculpture done. Then the sculptor produced a vinyl casting, and then I had to wire, build them out of wire inside and fill them with plaster of Paris and get the stupid guy together and then paint them. And where I saw him is at another show called the world show God, in Boston years ago. And there was a famous guy that had done this, painted it all and I got hooked on him and I never saw it again. I searched for like five years to find it. 
and I did my own. And um, the guy was also the guy that did the first Jurassic Park. He did all the animated stuff for it. I think if his, if his name properly was Rosengrant. And he also did the guy, uh, the body cast for, um, he did Fat Bastard off of, uh, God, I forgot the name of the movie that, you know, the guy was like Groovy Man or whatever. Uh, anyway, I lost my mind. I can't remember. But anyway, he did all the body casting and made all the resins for it and stuff and silicone molds and he did it. So I saw this and uh, I reproduced it for myself. I found the, the 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 guy who cast them in vinyl. I think the company was called Sideshow, whatever, and I did my own rendition of it. And I think I did a good job on it. Anyway, that's what it is. So let me know. This is just a little whatever to remind you guys to next week's the giveaway. Cost you nothing. Anyway. Thanks for, you know, just being part with me, and this is what calms me down, okay? Have a great one. God bless you. See you next week.